This is what's happened to people in Turkey since the day of the coup until October 1st. So you can see um, I sent the wrong slide. I didn't update it well enough. But there is a, a turkeypurge.com uh, keeps an ongoing list. I'll tell you what I can recall about it. Um, I, think we're up, I think we're up to about 130,000 now that have been purged. There were like 10,000 purged in the last two weeks. Purged here uh, means yeah. you lost your job, right? This doesn't mean you've taken Pepto-Bismol or something, <laughs> right? You have lost your job. You've lost your passport. You basically can't get out of the country, and you can't get a job unless you find some pizzeria, something like that. So anyway, this, it's October when it was uh, that, but I, like I said, I'm pretty sure it's up to about 1.30 now. But you, it doesn't matter. You get the point. You get the point. Look at that on the judges. Almost 4,000 judges and prosecutors have been dismissed from their job, jobs. A number of them have been, as I said, arrested. What's the message here about the independent judiciary? So you look at that, and I, I, I went and calculated today this. So the number of judges dis dismissed would be equivalent to dismissing all of the judges in California, New York, Illinois, and I didn't want to leave out Georgia. Think of that. The judges that we have spread out in those four states, that is the equivalent of what he's done. And what does that do to your judicial system? And then uh, the, the journalist arrested is now up to 195. There's virtually no opposition left at all in Turkey to the media. In the media. The generals are dismissed, military officers. Look at, and look at that, uh, 1,200. <laughs> Nonprofits. This is the part that really gets to me as much as the presidential palace. Why do our youth closing down nonprofits? Why are you closing down people that provide shelter and food in earthquakes, that uh, uh, set up wells in Africa? What, what is, why are you doing that? You know, how callous can you be? About, uh, because a number of those, of course, are associated with the movement, but a lot aren't. A lot aren't. As long as Erdogan can't control it, it's subject to uh, purge. Okay, here's another one I think is very critical. The academics dismissed. And that number is even higher now. There's been another slew that have been purged. And the 1,500 deans. So this is an attack. Remember I talked about the value of the movement was education? You can see Erdogan's view of education here. You do that. And 50, I mean, how do you run a university when you get rid of 1,500 deans? And the academics, I, I know I've been, I watched Turkey Purge, I've seen some of the people I interviewed, academia, who have been arrested. Um, these are public school workers. These are the cafeteria workers. For example, the janitors. And we know how they train little terrorists, right? Here, have your sandwich and, you know, <laughs> by the way, here's how you make a bomb. Uh, this is what I think is really interesting, the, how the financial ministry was gutted, because that's what was responsible for uh, investigating the gold that shows up, right? Those people are all gone. These people's livelihood are gone. You know, basically you're putting people out on the street in many respects. Or you're depending on people from outside the country to send money to keep you alive. Um, 87, I hear there's a lot more mayors. There are now no elected mayors in the Kurdish area. Erdogan has fired them all. I'm, I'm going to talk about the Kurds again in a minute because this is really key about his agenda. And then uh, 21,000 police officers filed SC, fired that's the equivalent of firing the entire police force uh, in uh, Chicago and LA. Pretty amazing stats, huh? And then, uh, with, 
not, not only do we have the academics dismissed, but we have universities, schools, and dorms shut down. 2,000 uh, of them, about a half, are related to the movement. Every movement school is now shut down. The dormitories were important because they were attached to the academic uh, component here. Because the idea of the movement is to educate a lot of the kids that live out in rural areas who are poor. And of course, they don't have the money to uh, commute or to have their car or any of that kind of stuff. So the dorms were set up so they could come to school for the semester, live at the school, and then go back home during the break and then come back. So it was a, it was a very important tool in terms of bringing uh, the rural poor folks in to get educated. And of course, that's shut down. And the businesses, they figure anything that anybody that claims to be associated, that the government thinks is associated with his map, all that business has been seized. The estimate is about $100 billion <coughs> worth of businesses have been seized. $100 billion worth of assets. So the movement um, sustains itself by the idea of tithing, right? The tithing idea we see in the Bible. And that is you contribute a tenth of your money, your resources, your time um, to the service of God. And uh, the way the movement applied that was the uh, service of God here is helping our fellow folks. And we'll do that through education and all that. So people tithe. Actually, a lot of people gave more than the 10%. But this is, Gulen always said, you know, he always encouraged people to go into business. And the idea of going into business was that you could build up wealth that you could then donate to the movement. That was part of it. It's okay, you want to get, you, you know, you can have your money, but make sure you give them a nice chunk of it back to the movement. And the budget uh, est was estimated to be a, a, a um, sociologist from uh, University of Houston did a study about a billion dollars a year in the movement stuff. Which really, you think about it, it's not that much money. It always sounds like, wow, a billion dollars. But you think about, uh, I'll show you a map in a minute, of all the movement stuff that goes on around the world. It's not a lot, and that's why you find, like the people here uh, that work, that are volunteering with the movement, and really, nobody gets a lot of money out of the movement. This is a lot, of, this is people really uh, dedicating their time. Now, 100 billion here. But none, one of the, this is number three that really hacks me off. Why do you shut down hospitals? I mean, what, what, what was the story on that? Why do you shut down hospitals? Simply because they're connected to the movement? What about all those people that have come in and been help, helped and won't come in, won't be able to come in and get help? Why do you do that? How can you be so cynical? You know, I don't like you politically, so I'm going to shut down every one of your hospitals. What if Obama had done that when he won the election? You know, the, we, we just go, that doesn't make any sense. You can disagree, but you don't go around hurting a third parties because you disagree. So, again, this statistic is a little out of date, but uh, at this point, there were 40,000 people arrested. This means basically you're in jail. And then 80,000 detained, which means you're basically picked up for a few days and put on bond. You can go home. And then they'll come back when they feel like it and take you back to, you know, sort of arbitrary. The one characteristic of everything that's here, no due process. No court hearing. Nothing. So... I can accuse you, oh, I saw a book about Glenn on your desk. You obviously are a terrorist. The government will fire you, take you away. The United States did that. Remember we did that? That's how we got Guantanamo going. We did that with Afghanistan. Just neighbors, neighbor might not like you. Call up, report you. Or maybe you're, maybe you have a son that doesn't like you and wants your money. <laughs> Who knows? But there is no end to the ingenuity of the evil uh, that we humans perpetuate. No due process. All that court stuff they went through is gone. No due process. This is a dictator. The it is true that July 15 was a coup, but it's Erdogan's coup. This was his coup against democracy in Turkey. 
on, on uh, July 15th. 